I think it's every parent's worst nightmare. Absolutely every parent's worst nightmare. The unthinkable happened last night for this single mom after a house fire. It happened at their Creekwood mobile home park around 1046 last night. By the time police arrived, the home was engulfed. Olivia Mooring escaped the burning home with her daughter, Bonnie, but told police her son was still inside. Sadly, Hunter died. The mother and daughter were both taken to the hospital for treatment and released. Friends who consider Olivia more like family are stepping up to help amidst this tragedy. I saw it on the news and of course I, my heart went out to the mother. Rebecca Shaw is a longtime friend of Olivia Mooring. They met more than a decade ago through the marching band program at Bendel High School. When Shaw saw a fire happen this morning at the Creekwood Mobile Home Park, she never thought it could be her friend. She texted me and said, could you wash my hair? And I'm thinking, well, she knows it's my day off, but uh, I text and thinking maybe something was going on at Sloan. I said, well, what time? And then she called me and told me, and I was just in shock, completely in shock. Shocked to hear that 13-year-old Hunter was gone. Rebecca describes Hunter as funny. He would come to her for haircuts. Anytime he came in to get his hair cut, he was always like, it's too long, cut it shorter. <laughs> I need to see. <laughs> Hunter was in the Bendel Middle School band. He recently had a concert, and Rebecca says his mom was so proud of him. Olivia's children were high-functioning, cognitively impaired. He struggled a little bit sitting with the other kids, and uh, the music director there is amazing with the kids. And he told Hunter, you know, you're going to have to sit next to them on stage. And he did. Rebecca tells us Olivia is a great mother who cares so much for her kids. She came over this morning with soot still on her face. I hugged her and couldn't let go. She has a way of pulling people in and just making them family. And while Olivia's family will never be the same after this tragic loss, the community has come together. Rebecca and their other friend Jenna started a GoFundMe and donations are pouring in. Olivia's friends are expressing thanks to the Bendel community. If you would like to donate to help Olivia and Bonnie, you can find the GoFundMe link on our website, midmichigannow.com.